Al Jazeera. Robert Monihan is the editor of the magazine Inside the Vatican, joins me now live from Rome. Apparently the Pope's brother knew. Did you know? You know, we've just got a tremendous thunderstorm starting here, which is appropriate for this day because we're all thunderstruck by this decision of the Pope. <laughs> OK, so if you all thunderstruck, clearly you didn't know. I mean, why, why do you think he did it this way? Is there more to it than what we are hearing? Was he sick? You know, I'm having difficulty with this thunder, hearing your question. Uh, Maybe it's divine but intervention, I, I but I'm just Pope trying to find Benedict out if there's more to this story than what we are hearing. Well, uh, I can only say that Pope Benedict had already done something in 2009 which gave a hint of this decision. He took off his pallium and he placed it on the tomb of the last famous pope who resigned. He resigned in 1296, more than 700 years ago. In 2009, on April 29th, the pope went there and took off his stole and he gave an indication by that gesture that he might take such a decision like but, but this. why? I mean, do you think he was overcome by some of the issues that the church was f uh, facing? I mean, many people say that he wasn't a successful pope, that he divided the church, that he, he lost followers, he insulted many people. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sure that Pope Benedict feels that there needs to be, in addition to his prayer and his intelligence, there needs to be a younger man in this post. He's weary, he's 85 years old, he'll be 86 in the spring, and he must have examined himself in the last three or four months and felt that he could no longer, uh, no longer carry on at the pace that he had to carry on. So he made this dramatic decision. Okay, so you say it's more, more than likely to be a younger uh, person. Do you think it's somebody who's gonna confront the rather anachronistic views of the church as far as same-sex marriages are concerned? contraception, homosexuality, issues like that? I don't think that this decision of the Pope is going to bring about any doctrinal changes. However, I do think the church is aware that there are tremendous pressures on the church to consider these issues. But I think the church is going to try to continue to teach the traditional values. It's just going to be less and less popular. This pope was a wonderful intellectual and a theologian a professor who was able to explain some of these issues on a profound level. And uh, after him, I'm not sure who they're going to choose, but it's going to be a difficult shoes to fill. All right, Robin Monihan, I'm, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks for talking to us. and. Uh... Sorry about that storm sort of blocking out some of my questions. Let's go over to Teresa Bors. Uh, Teresa Bors, storm clouds gathering there above the Vatican, all very dramatic, and find out what the response has been in Buenos Aires, Teresa.